What is going on guys? It's your boy Steez coming at you with another sweet Black Ops 3 beta gameplay and informational video. In this one, I'll be telling you guys about the best uh, HVK30 class up, class setup that I found personally. Um, this gun, I maxed it out. It's ranked 16. Uh, I've used just about every attachment except for the rapid fire because after using this class setup, I didn't even want to use it. So let me tell you a little bit about the gameplay before we dive into the class setup. We're playing Demolition on Combine, which I'm pretty sure I told you guys was one of my least favorite maps uh, in my last video, but it's kind of growing on me. It, it, it's a little bit better than I thought it was. Uh, but yeah, we're playing Demolition on it, and uh, in this gameplay I actually drop a 50 bomb. I get, uh, I go 52 and 10 I believe, so it's pretty good. We do a little, of, um, and you can't really call it spawn trapping, but essentially like we pushed them back to the point where they couldn't get out of their spawn so you decide for yourself if it's, if it's spawn trapping or not it we weren't killing them right as they were spawning so like i don't really it was like spawn containing is is what i want to call it so we do a little bit of that and i'm actually in a party with some of the people i met online in the previous match so that's pretty cool they just invited me they're like hey yo let's party up and so i joined the party chat and the game and i was talking to them a little bit uh, they, they're the ones that actually started this. I'm like, oh, like I, I saw them in the back of the map. I'm like, oh, are you got spawn trapping? And they're like, oh, yeah. So I'm like, eh, why not? But I digress. So let's get into the main purpose of this video, which is the class setup. So as a primary, of course, we got the HVK 30 with the quick grip, four grip. Um, actually, let, let me tell you why. So the quick grip, obviously, um, we want it to ADS faster because this game is pretty fast paced. Um, a little bit slower than AW, but it's still pretty fast paced. You gotta have your gun up as fast as possible to win the gunfight. Uh, we have a foregrip on it because uh, one thing I noticed is uh, when I first started playing this game, I thought there was no recoil whatsoever in any of the, on any of the guns. Um, but after fiddling with it a little bit more, I realized that the recoil is more a side to side than up and down. Uh, and I guess that's good because there's a lot of long range sights. Um, on all the maps that are available to us, there's a lot of long range sites. And uh, if we had a lot of up and down recoil on all the ARs, then that would put guns like the, the Shiva or the XR2 uh, or the M87. M87? I think that's the, the other burst gun. The M8A7 or something like that. Yeah, that would put that in the, in the advantage. And so uh, that would basically make everything else useless. So they made it more of a side to side. And a foregrip helps that. The foregrip. Um, minimizes that down to almost none. If you look at this gameplay, there's very little recoil on my gun, uh, and that's thanks to the foregrip. Uh, now, what else do we got on this? We got the, um, the fast mags attachment. That attachment, it saved my ass so many times. I thought about running uh, extended mags, but the fast mags is a little bit better because it lets you reload faster, um, and that's always helpful. Also, I noticed. Uh, even when it's not like the fast mag part, so in Black Ops 2 and all that, when you used fast mags, uh, your first reload was way faster, and then the second reload, um, it like kind of switches over, so it's like a normal reload, and it takes a little bit slower. This one, it seems like both of them are kind of fast. It seems like even if you run out of all your ammo in the clip, both reloads are faster than a normal reload if you didn't have fast mags. Uh, so I think fast mags is... In, at least in this game, uh, it, it's better than extended mags. I usually just run extended mags in games like AW and all that. So in my opinion, fast mags is definitely better than extended mags in this game. We also got a stock on this, and a stock is really important. Even though it doesn't seem like it does a lot, uh, it, it's, it does less than it does in normal games. But without a stock... Um, the when you when you're aiming down sight and moving side to side or front front to back, uh, it, it's about as slow as an LMG in other games. It's really slow and the stock it, it helps out a lot. Even though it it seems sluggish and not, like it doesn't really help, it actually helps quite a bit and it it creates a little bit fast pace. And it when you're moving really slow, you're an easy target. So if you got stock on, it makes you a little bit harder to uh. Uh, to lock on for the enemies to shoot you and it helps out offensively and defensively um, 
So I, I think those are the best four attachments uh, for this gun. I'm not r running any uh, any sight on it. No red dot, no ACOG, nothing like that. Um, I, I, I like the iron sights on this gun. I tried red dot. I had it on for quite a bit. Uh, basically until I got this gun to level 15, uh, I was running a red dot. And it was good. The red dot's really good. But these attachments just... You don't want a red dot. The iron sights are amazing. And uh, if you have a red dot, then you gotta take something else off. Now for perks. Um, in perk one slot, we got sixth sense. Uh, that helps out a lot because in this game, there's a lot of flank routes. People are gonna be coming from all sides of you. What sixth sense does is it shows up with like um, a little quadrant of your mini map it turns red when they're in that area. It doesn't let you know verticality, but uh, it just lets you know that they're there, and it that helps out a lot. Now in perk two. We have nothing, uh, we don't, nothing, like, it, perk 2, they're good, but we don't really have the space for that, so we just took that out. Uh, perk 3, we have awareness. This helps out for me, um, because I have Astros. If you don't have a headset, then awareness isn't really going to help. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it does help. Um, it, I don't know if this is just me, but it also sounds like the, the thrust jumps are louder as well. Um, I don't know if it does that, but for me, it, it sounds like when you have awareness, it makes the thrust jumps louder and their footsteps. It could just be me, though. I don't know. Um, we also have two wild cards on both um, both uh, primary gunfighter, so we can have those attachments on there. And then for the for the final, um, we have a secondary, the uh, not the B23. Um, uh, the RK-5, that's what it's called. I keep wanting to call it the B-23, uh, but it's called the RK-5. It's the three-on burst, uh, the, the three-on burst pistol in this game. It, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, I haven't tried the full auto one yet, but between the, the, the first pistol, I don't know what that was called, between the first pistol and the, the RK-5, uh, this one's definitely the better one. Even though the, the first pistol that you, that you have unlocked is super powerful, but this... The RK5 could seriously just be used as a primary, like, it, it melts, it, it's really good. Well that's gonna bring us to the end of the video, I hope you all enjoyed watching this sweet gameplay, and if you found this helpful, make sure you like, uh, let's try to hit 15 likes on this one guys, that would be greatly appreciated, and let me know your best class setups in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe for more awesome content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay steezy.